I probably have about 50 pair of Foley shoes. Cleats, because I've been keeping them. Boots, Valley. army boots, yeah. Toe shoes, tap shoes. Um, you know, I have my shoes from White Knights. Vanessa, when you were doing the, the dance Foley for White Knights, mm -hmm. the, what did you take it in? How large of a chunk would you attempt? Well, that's kind of an interesting story because that's a, that's a three-way um, dance story. When I, when I first was told to do that, I thought I was going to have to do all of the dance fully, and that made me very nervous because they're both better dancers than I am, although I was pretty good, but they're both much better. Um, then I was told that Gregory Hines would be doing most of his own tap, and that was a big relief. I did have to do some of his easier stuff, and um, then I did have to do all of the ballet dancing. But that's fine because I'd been a professional dancer and I knew all of the ballet dancing, so that was fine. If you hear any ballet steps, those are mine. If you hear any tap, that's, that, most of that's Gregory. There is, though, a scene that I think is really interesting where some of it's production and some of it's me and they had to mix it together. And that's when he's telling his story, dancing his story about being in Vietnam and then coming to Russia. That was production where he's scuffing around so I had to also top production scuffing around because there was some ADR. Then he did some dancing in there and I had to do some of the dancing in there. So there's production and some of his dancing and some of my dancing in that one scene. And that was really kind of an odd thing to have to do.